Hello, it's Julie Ruffle here. Um, I decided to do a little bit of Friday night ironing or afternoon ironing. Uh, so I'm live on the Blooms Art House page. I'm doing a bit of a social media takeover this month during the month of February. And I am sharing a little bit about my my artwork and my style of artwork. So um, I decided, I'm hoping you can see this okay, I would show you one of the styles that I paint with, which is when I paint with an iron. Um, I will come on camera at the end. I just wanted to get set up and then not lose the uh, the the light the lighting in here. It's it's actually quite it's uh, evening time now, so I'll come on at the end rather than uh, at the start. But I thought I'd introduce you to my little encaustic iron. Um, if you saw my live yesterday, I had all of my um, paintings out. All sorts of different waxes out. I've fired my hot plate up briefly and uh, I've put all of that away in it now. I'm ready to start a new painting um, but I'd lost the light by the time I kind of got in here today um, if, this evening. So I thought I would just show you this wonderful tool and then I'll start a, a some different paintings over the weekend. So this is called an encaustic iron if you haven't heard of it before. Um, amazing company uh, called Arts Encaustic. They're great really great these these waxes are um work at a fairly low temperature and they're really accessible anybody can paint with these um it's where i started painting and so they kind of come they tuck away really nicely um into a little small package and then the handle comes off hopefully you can see this okay and there's a little little hole here which i well just like a travel iron exactly the same um Click that into place and there we go. Uh, the difference with this as opposed to a travel iron is these have a really, really constant and steady thermostat to them. So you don't kind of get them cutting in and out in the same way that you do with an iron. It's a general rule. So um, I'm going to paint on some encaustic paper, which is just a, you know, it's, it, it looks like a, it looks like a photographic paper actually, um, but it's it's actually designed to work with with these um, encaustic waxes that I'm about to use. So I'm going to plug this in. I can see somebody's watching, but I can't see the comments for a minute. So if you have any questions whilst I'm doing this, pop them in, and I will take a look at the comments in a moment. Um, so let me just check my camera view. Yeah, I think you can see that okay. So what I do is it takes literally a couple of secs to heat the iron up. Um, you know, it it's not um, as high a heat as some of the other waxes I do. I'm going to take my wax block, choose my colour, just give a little scribble to see what colour you've picked up. I've, I've picked up a blue at the moment. And I don't know if you can see just. Let me check the camera angle. Can you see how that is? It's just really molten and beautiful. So you basically melt some wax onto your iron, turn it over. There's no need to rush or hurry. Just turn it over and then literally just use the heat of the iron just to uh, sort of glide it across the page. So you turn it down a bit, a little bit. Well, I think the thermostat is doing something here. So I'm going to glide that across the page. Hopefully you can see that okay. And so my first intention is just to get a covering of wax onto the paper and then I'm going to start to manoeuvre that around and manipulate it. Um, and uh, use the iron, the heat of the iron to... Uh, to move that wax. So if you want to keep your iron kind of cleanish, you can just take some tissue and wipe it over. Not essential unless you're changing colours, but um, I try and keep it clean for, and uh, neat for the camera. So you just take different areas of your iron and then from there, once you've got your wax on, just let the let the heat of the iron manoeuvre the wax around. So let me show this on camera. If you can see. So at the moment it's still really molten and glossy. And as that wax cools, it is going to go quite matte in colour. Um, I don't recommend you pick your pictures up too quickly in real life because uh, they will run. But I'm trying to 
hopefully you can see it's it's nearly cooled now but what you'll see is that that wax as it solidifies will go from um, a real matte colour to sorry a really shiny colour to a very matte colour so um when you don't like a painting you just go over and you can just get these amazing amazing abstract shapes i mean i've learned over time how to create these shapes um you know anybody can come in to start with and just get lots and lots of happy accidents so you know i know which effects to make or which mark the, the actions to make with the iron to kind of create the shapes that i'm making um but you can get really really beautiful creations really quickly i can mix colors um as i say and really you just let the, the just let that heat of the iron and find its flow and often what you'll do is you'll you'll find a shape and then from there you'll start to work into it and you think oh i really like that bit there so i'll work with that part um and you just get to me it's an, a real almost otherworldly um landscape that you can get with them and they just really look amazing so i can mix other colors i can keep going over um it's really i don't know if it's coming across but it's just really therapeutic to move um i'm using a very small piece of paper at the moment because it, it it's great for um, anybody who's beginning as well because it fits the width of the iron really nicely um, as you kind of move up in size, they, they get a lot more complex to, to manoeuvre and to manage. But, you know, you can use different areas of the iron. Oops. To create these amazing sort of geometric shapes. see hopefully you can see so I can add other colors um, one of my favorite Ooh. it's one of my favorite colors you can see it's almost next to nothing left actually so I'm gonna add a bit of this one it blends so well with so many different colors And there are different ways of, of mixing the paints. You can have them so they, um, you know, they come across quite clean or you can keep mixing them until, you know, you really, it's really like mixing paints as you would any other paint source. But, well, you can see, hopefully you can see those little touches of pinks coming through. It's actually, it's, say so the lighting in here, they are there. Um, they just might be showing, they're just showing us a little bit blue in this light. Um, you know, I can lift off to get through to the white of the paper underneath. And it's just... You can lose yourself for absolute hours. And uh, when I'm running workshops with these, um, I'm looking, looking for finished pieces at the moment, but we tend to have, you know, people end up with loads and loads of these um, little sort of practice pieces. Um, and as a, as a starting introduction point, I really, re if you're just interested in learning a little bit or just enjoy, just really looking for a bit of, you know, arty therapy, this is a, a really, really great place to start. You just kind of allow the wax to um, Just go with what feels really. Go with the colours that you like the look of. Go with the actions. Um, I often find that when people are in a really zen mood, you know, there's a lot of this going on. If they're really stressed, there's a lot of this. Um, but you know, just go with what you feel on the day, really. And you'll often find that the colours that are, that people choose, um, or certainly when I was doing workshops, colours people chose had a really big. Um, you know, you could just see people's moods reflected in it, and uh, but just the process of putting it down. I'm talking now, and then losing myself. So, but 
this is what it does. Hopefully you can see this okay. So this is a really, really um, great level to come into and just start uh, playing with wax. Um, discovering it, just learning how to put it on. Different waxes have got different melting points. Um, and, you know, it's a great place to just sort of learn some of the basics, if you like, feel the way that it applies and goes, and, you know, goes on. You can use it. I can actually use this as a miniature hot plate. Um, I can use it with my other layering styles when I'm doing that. So I'm going to be sharing an awful lot more throughout the month of February. Um, as I say, I just thought I would do a bit of a Friday afternoon fun ironing one tonight because... Um, it was getting a little late in the day to do a full in-depth tutorial. But let me, I'll just do one more um, using some different colours. So really easy to clean, um, get some tissue and uh, yeah, there you go. There are some more in-depth ways that I do clean my iron, or, um, but you know, in short, that is as much as you need to do if you're just playing with practice pieces or you know just having fun with it um let me find some other colors i like to use a magazine to um, lay my work on because you can just literally just rip off that page and you've got a nice clean palette to work on for your next piece so uh, makes it super easy i like the lazy girl's guide to painting i like to make things as easy as possible my light's fading. Hopefully you can see this okay. Let me just, before I do a new one, I'm going to have a look, just see if there are any comments. Hang on. Come and say hello from this way around. Let me show you this piece, hopefully. Hopefully you can see how that is looking. So there's many more stages I can go through with this. So, yes. Um, I can't see any comments at the moment. I can see somebody's been watching, but I can't see any of the details. So... Um, you know, if you're watching this on the replay, feel free to come and ask any questions as well. Um, and I can come back on on another day and answer those or just answer them in the comments below as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'll do another painting with some different colours and then I will um, I will wrap up for Friday afternoon. Time for a glass of wine, I think. Um, in fact, that's one thing I used to do a lot of when I had my old studio. We would do an awful lot of these with wax and wine parties very popular <laughs> it's a really great way to get with, together with some friends and sit down and get creative beautiful anyhow let me turn this around I can't see any questions I say if you do see any and you're looking in the or you know even on the replay just let me know that you're watching on the replay and that if you have any questions and let's do I'll do a slightly bigger one this time um we'll go for a bit of Something different, turquoise. I haven't used turquoise in ages, actually. If I'm planning a complete picture out, I will really think through my colours and, um, you know, I will kind of come up with a plan of action, if you like. But I, I was just going abstract today. Abstract Friday with an iron, which sounds like a plan to me. So I'm going to start by just putting a covering of wax across the whole of the page. This is going to go quite pastely. So different colours are quite different. So this minty colour is actually quite a quite a pastely colour. Um, and when you use it in the right ways, it can really give an amazing pop. But equally, you can mix it with other colours to get a real pastel, um, sort of reminiscent of underwater kind of that sort of mystical, misty scenes when I want to do some of those. So I've not really got a plan here actually. I've started hit live and now I'm talking. Um, so let's just see what comes up. So you can kind of get a smooth finish across your paper and keep mixing the colours until you kind of mix in and create your own colours. Kind of take colour and drag it up through. Keep blending and see what you can get. It's really nice seascapes and things with these actually. 
making a bit of a mess here so I haven't really thought colours through. Let me just clean my iron up and I'll add some more colour on top. The beautiful thing with wax as well is, um, and when I'm teaching this in my workshops, um, you know, you can't, if you get a real mess, you never, there's no pressure because nothing is ever messed up. You can always add more wax on top, you can keep blending. Um, it's really, do you ever get that kind of blank canvas syndrome? You're like, I just don't know what to paint or create or do. Um, and it's great for that because you can just sit, you're enjoying the act of create, creating, going with the flow of what comes out. And uh, as I say, nothing is ever spoiled because you just keep adding more wax on top. Uh, there is a limit with this paper, to be fair. It only takes so many layers um, because it's quite a flexible surface. But... Uh, you know, you keep adding on top, taking away, scratch into it. I get my stylus out and start adding on top. So, you know, there's just, I always say to people, don't, don't feel pressured or stressed with it. Just go and see what strikes you. So I'm just adding a few gobs of darker wax on here. And then let's see what colour blends we come out with after that. I just like the process of blending colours and seeing what you can create. I often get find I get little faces in, in amongst um, the pieces. And once, I mean, I, I create, you might have seen on the live yesterday, some of the little fantasy landscapes I get. Once you kind of understand and really get the hang of your iron you can really control it um, so you know you can kind of scrape right back in you can move the wax and really the wax is just floating on top and you just keep manipulating and playing with it until you get the desired effect that you want it's going quite mucky again now so you can see how the colors you can either keep blending until they're all blended in together or you can just you know, add your colours on top. Let's have a bit of this one again. A little bit of silver, that's always beautiful to add. You can see that okay. A bit of silver on. Again, sort of blend away with that. Just keep using the heat. this okay so there's a little hint of silver in there now which I don't know how well you can see on the video some purples and blues and different ones mixed up let me go this way you can see this okay and equally I could let's see how much I go for purple I've got purple here dip into my wax this way and add wax on top. Anyhow, I like to let my intuition guide me. Um, I like to just be drawn to the colours that I um, are dra I'm drawn to. Um, and to, well, excuse the pun, but just literally just go with the flow and see where the wax takes you when you start painting. And this style is just so beautiful for doing that. 
So let me clean my iron up one last time. So it's um it's a Friday afternoon. I have been I've actually been talking with a lady today about collaborating on some art retreats. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She does uh, sound baths. Um, so we had a bite to eat for lunch and chatted and chatted and chatted and chatted and uh, hatching some plans. So um, yes, we're still at the mooting stage and thinking about things at the moment, but um, yeah, watch this space. I've always had my dream of my Arty Heaven Retreat Centre. Um, but yeah, could be some smaller versions of that coming sooner than we thought. So uh, yeah, so anyway, it's a little late to start doing a proper full-on painting. But I just thought I'd show you how quickly you can kind of create these um, these cards. Let me tidy this away so it's a bit tidier. How quickly you can create these cards. Um, you can get a real stack of them going you know, and it's just a lovely, lovely thing to sit down and do. Great for making into, um, you know, little greetings cards for people as well, if you want to do that. But equally, um, you know, I take more time with them and create, or turn them into actual finished pieces of abstract work as well. Anyhow, let me just take this out of the holder. Hopefully you can see that okay. My light died to death, it didn't last very long. Um, yeah, so just some abstract pieces to uh, a bit of fun on a Friday afternoon. Um, yeah, so anyway, hopefully, um, let me know. Have you ever seen wax painting or painting with an iron before? Did you know it was even a thing? Um, yeah, please do ask me your questions throughout the month of February, and I'm really happy to uh, to share those with you. Um, you know, share my answers or come on camera and answer any questions that you have. Um, and do check my website out as well, which is rtheaven.com. And uh, there's a host of information on there, which links up to all of my social medias, which actually are often Julianne's gallery, because my name is Julianne. Uh, anyway, I will finish there. Thank you very much for joining me and uh, watching on the replay, if you're watching this afterwards. And I'll uh, catch up with you soon. Bye.